What is the best way you've seen a guy hit on a girl? Story 1. I've seen a lot of one-liner fails in the past, but just a week ago, I saw a 13-year-old boy pull one off flawlessly. There happen to be two sets of kids where I work, all about the same age, 11 to 13 years old. The girls had walked past where the boys were sitting to go to the restroom, obviously the girls going all together. On their way back, a brave boy asked one of the girls to help him. Curious, she asked how. He asked her what type of phone she had, because it was broken and he didn't know how to fix it. So she went over and was looking at it, and after not finding anything, she asked what was wrong with it. It's broken because it doesn't have your number in it. The girl's dad happened to be passing by at the time, and he was laughing so hard, I thought he was going to put his daughter's number in the kid's phone for her. Dang, I'm about to take tips on picking up women from a 13-year-old. This is what my life's come to. Story 2. I got set up on a blind date. I'm in this bar slash music venue, and it's been a very stressful week. I had just tried a jury trial, so I'm ready to relax. I'm drinking a beer and talking to my friend, who was supposed to introduce me to this girl, when this chick leans over and shushes me. Turns out the bar was supposed to be a quiet, pay-attention kind of music venue. My friend leans over after this and goes, That's the girl. The one who just shushed me. Whatever, she's really pretty, so I shushed. A little while later, the music ended, and we all headed to a pool hall nearby. I was talking to the girl and wanted to compliment her good looks slash her bone structure, which is really nice. Somehow my compliment got stuck halfway between one thing and the other, and it came out as, you have a nice skull. Totally worked. We started dating, and I married her two weeks ago. She still makes fun of me for complimenting her skull, too. Story 3. For a few years in my mid-twenties, I was the wing chick for my male friends. I would swoop in to help them out when they were striking out on their own. As a female picking up another female for a male friend, my most successful pickup line started with, Oh my god, I absolutely love your insert whatever they have on that stands out, i.e. shoes, necklace, bracelet, etc. I would chat them up for about five minutes and give the signal, a scratch behind the ear or thumb in my pocket. Male friend would swoop in, I introduce them and tell a story about how this friend is so awesome then excuse me to the bathroom and go home. Usually would wake up to a thank you text. Edit, thank you to the Redditors who gave me gold. I greatly appreciate it. Also, for those who are asking, I've been cancer-free for a few years now. I'm amazed and cannot believe the amount of feedback I've received for this comment. All of you are awesome. Thanks again. Story 4. I was at an upscale bar for happy hour with an old friend catching up. It is a piano bar, and everyone drinks martinis. Not real martinis, but apple and chocolate bullcrap, and wine, trying way too hard to be sophisticated. The piano is sitting empty before the hired player gets to work. This average-looking guy wanders up to the vacant piano and starts singing and playing some Nora Jones-esque song, and he is freaking amazing. Seriously good. He sees some woman singing along, and he calls her up for a duet. She reluctantly agrees. He continues playing, and she is totally into it. Some Jedi mind control stuff is happening. Song ends, he gets a standing ovation, and walks off with a woman on his arm. They spent the next two hours at the corner of the bar drinking and talking and laughing, and eventually left together. He was an average six at best, but she was a borderline nine. Under any other circumstances, he would have likely struck out, but he nailed it. Story 5. I had a friend back in university who was socially behind the curve. He would come off as creepy, or just too abnormal, I guess. It made girls uneasy, but he was a decent, fun guy. Anyhow, he had a huge crush on this girl I was lab partners with, and I know she's single, etc., so I'm just coaching the guy to approach it halfway normally. I say next time he's with me and she's around, I'll just bring her into the conversation and just sort of flesh him out, big him up a little, and in an hour, when it's all a little more comfortable... I'll excuse myself for a minute, and he can casually see if she wants to go out sometime. Later that day, I'm at her house, finishing a report, and she gets a Facebook IM on her laptop. It's him, and without prior conversation, almost ever, the IM says, Your boobaloobaloobies are great. It didn't work this time. I do admire his misguided courage, though. Story 6. Had a few Brazilian friends when I was in high school. I was hanging out at the mall with one of them on a Sunday, just sitting at one of the tables at the edge of the food court. A few girls walked by together, and he just stared at them with a smirk. One of them looked his way. They kept walking. He said in his broken English, Just watch. She knows. Knows what? I had no idea. 
He kept watching the girls. Half a minute later, that girl looked over her shoulder and smiled at him. See, she knows. He keeps watching. A few more moments later, the girl laughs with her friends, leaves them, and starts walking toward my friend. He gets up, meets her, they say a few things, and start strolling the mall together. Me being a nerdy white kid was in awe of this guy. I don't even know if this counts for the thread. I mean, he didn't even do anything. He simply is. Story 7. Back in my senior year, my buddy got really drunk at a club. Being the good friends that we are, we naturally convinced him that hitting on the two beautiful girls at the side of the club would be the greatest idea ever. He agreed, and we told him that he should totally use this line. Have you ever ridden the Oriental Express? Would you like to? Five inches. We were both Asian. The drunk mofo, with a poop-eating grin, strolls up to the poor girls, grabbed both their hands, and whispered into their ears. Both of them looked at each other in shock, then smiled and started talking to him. As the girl was whispering enthusiastically into his ear, my buddy puts a finger to her lips, turned around, and walked back. Our jaws were on the floor. What happened? He just goes, I got hungry, let's get some Mickey D's. The entire night we were like, oh? So you aren't Asian anymore? Story 8. Best one I've seen. I was sitting at the bar with a buddy of mine, and there was an attractive woman on the other side of him. He says, watch this, and proceeds to turn to face her and introduce himself. They shake hands, and when their hands touch, he grabs her hand and says, Hey, you have such small hands, my dong is going to look huge. I had to put my head down on the bar because I was almost crying laughing, and fully expecting him to get a good old slap for that one. Nope, she laughs, and they proceed to flirt it up. Still amazed that worked. Edit, holy crap this blew up. Yes, he is a handsome fella, but there's no way that should have worked. But God, was it ever hilarious. I think the success of this depends on if you make it come off super creepy, or if you're funny enough to make it hilarious. Story 9. My now husband had a bad reputation in college. The mutual friends through which we met called him Woman Poison because he was known for moving from lady to lady. Although I was interested in him, I only pursued serious relationships and turned him down for months. It wasn't that hard since I lived two hours away and had a career to focus on. One weekend, I heard a knock on my door, and on my doorstep was a book he and I had discussed the last time we saw each other. He had driven two hours and was about to drive two hours back just to leave me a physical copy of something we had talked about. It totally won me over, signifying that he was willing to put time into the relationship. We dated for six years, have been married for four, and have a one-year-old son. Story 10 when I was 19, I worked at a CD store, remember those, in the local mall with one of the finest women I've ever seen. She looked like a mix between Beyonce and Miss Sunday from Game of Thrones. Every day a new fool would come in and try their luck with her, and they all failed, one after another. Until one dude, this guy was Swaggy P before there was a Swaggy P. Pimp as F, gold chains, Versace sunglasses, diamond earrings, the whole deal. He simply strolled up to her in what can only be described as the hardest, swaggiest of strolls, and simply asked, "'What's up with you?' Smitten, she responded, "'I don't know. What's up with you?' "'Let me hold that number,' he responded. "'All right,' she said. Dude strolled out of the store, not saying a single other word to her. That was the exact moment when I realized I understood nothing. Story 11 one of my close friends and I were playing pool in our dorm commons when this knockout brunette sat down with a few of her friends. Me and my friend both noticed she was glancing at him, but we continued to play pool. A half hour or so goes by, and I asked him what he was doing the following day at 6, when I finished classes. He turned and smiled at her, before telling me, whatever she's doing at 6. Her jaw dropped, and she started giggling. They dated for nearly a year after that. It was the smoothest thing I've ever seen to date. Please tell me right after he said that, he cracked a shot on the pool table and sunk all the remaining balls while making steady eye contact with her. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of this video and have a wonderful day. Story 12. I went to the movies on a day off, alone, and I saw a drop-dead gorgeous, way out of my league guy going in. I was a little high and single, and I had snuck in Taco Bell, so I figured I'd try and share it with him and strike up a conversation. So I went down and sat a little bit too close for comfort. I said something about my taco and took a drink of his pop without asking. 
It went great. He swears to this day he went out with me because of my eyes and my inappropriateness. I'm still an oversharer, and he's still out of my league. We've been married for 17 years, and I have a huge crush on him. Story 13. I don't know if this is the best way per se, but I definitely had something random and very cool happen to me at a bar. Simply put, I was standing next to this really cute girl. I don't know if he saw her checking me out or something, but this guy comes up to us, makes eye contact with her, points at me and goes, Man, that's a really cool blazer, don't you think? She gives me a once-over and agrees. He gets his drink from the bar and leaves without saying another word. Instant attraction. Dancing and hooking up happen. Thank you, random awesome wingman, wherever you are. I never got the chance to say that. Story 14. Met a gorgeous girl early at the evening of a New Year's Eve party. A few minutes before midnight, I saw her again and she gave me a frustrated frown. Is something wrong? I asked. Last New Year's, I didn't have anyone to kiss at midnight, and I was really hoping this year would be different. Guess not. I had been drinking, but not so much as to miss an opening like that. Took her in my arms and kissed her up to and through the countdown. At the time, it all seemed very spontaneous, but later I learned she had been practicing that line for over an hour. Anyway, this August will be our 20th anniversary. Story 15. I actually used Street Pass on the Nintendo 3DS to hit on a girl in school. I had always noticed her from my programming class, and she always played her 3DS before and between classes. So I used the private message function to make her aware of my existence. It went something along the lines of, Hi, I'm X. I'm in programming. Next time we street passed, she had responded with something like, Oh, I know. Hee <laughs> hee. Next time in class, she invited me to her village in Animal Crossing. We've been dating for two and a half years. This should be a Nintendo commercial. Story 16. Best cut down while being hit upon. My best bud was heavily flirting with this girl in a bar who completely wasn't interested in him. After putting up with him for far too long, she suddenly spins around, looks him dead in the eyes, and asks quite loudly, Do you remember your first bejesus? Being completely surprised by the question and having a dozen sets of eyes on him in the bar, he timidly replies, Yes. She loudly asks, Did you spit or swallow? Tail between his legs, he quietly got up from the bar stool, admitted defeat, and crawled away in shame. Story 17 I was in high school, and there was this substitute teacher that was downright gorgeous. Everything a teenage boy could dream for, like straight out of one of those cornos you watch. So she's subbing my class one day, and she says, oh, I think I lost my phone. I can't find it. So quickly I go, oh, what's your number? I'll call it. 943-555-73... Oh, you think you're slick or something? I was so close. Needless to say, I never had a chance, phone number or not. You have narrowed it down to a hundred numbers. Story 18. Was at a work function, puffing on a cigarette. A girl I kind of knew saw me and said, jokingly, You know, smoking makes your sperm swim in circles. Then she went back to talking to her friends. A few minutes later, I noticed that she too had lit up a cigarette. So I said to her, You know, smoking makes your sperm swim in circles. I don't have any sperm, she says. Want some? I replied. She laughed. I bet HR thought it was hilarious, too. Story 19. At a swimming party during summer break, one girl didn't know how to swim, but my friend took her by the hands into the pool, and next thing, he was holding her in his arms, the smoothest, nicest way. All of us noticed that they made a natural couple as if it were meant to be. It's perfect. If he ever loses interest, all he needs to do is let go, and she will drown. Story 20. I don't remember getting hit on very smoothly many times, one time I can remember, this college guy walked up to me trying to get me to help a fundraiser or something, and after the conversation he said, Hey, one more thing. Has anyone told you what's wrong with you today? No. Good, because it's not a dang thing. It really made me smile. Watch out for girls on my campus. Story 21. This was early, early in the morning in a mostly empty hub airport. What looked to be the entire Stanford women's tennis team was chilling out waiting for their connection, a guy was walking around with his little brother and, out of the blue, smacked him on the back of the head, saying, Shut up! Tennis players are hella hot! All 30 or so of them started laughing. Well played, dude. Well played. Story 22. Watched a guy fall down skiing on the steepest part of a run and he could not stop. Skis, poles, hat, and gloves go flying. As he's rolling and sliding, I notice he's about to do a bowling ball slam into a girl standing at the bottom, 
He spread out his arms and legs and manages to stop, but lying face up, feet uphill, and she's just looking down at him like, what the F? Story 23. Late to the party, but I was at the Harry Potter studio tour in London a few months ago, and I was looking at the Mirror of Irised. I said to my friend, who I thought was with me, isn't this supposed to show my heart's greatest desire? Then I realized my friend was not there, but a girl behind me said, it does, that's why you see me. Edit. No need to obscure photos. Turns out the quality is poor anyway. Story 24. My buddy saw a girl standing alone at the bar and happened to notice she was wearing a Star of David necklace. He walks up to her and says, Hi, are you here with someone or are you just waiting for your messiah? She threw a drink in his face. For some reason I was expecting, So, do you come here often? Story 25. My parents met when my mom was working at McDonald's in the drive through window. My dad pulled up and said, Hey, this isn't what I ordered. I ordered a Big Mac, a fry, and a date with you. Somehow that worked, and here I am. He got you at McDonald's. Story 26. I might be late to this party, but I have to admit it was probably myself. When I was five years old, I literally hit, with a stick, the cutest little girl I'd ever seen while playing in the park near her house. She ran home and told her dad, who read to me the riot act. Twelve years later, I took her to senior prom, and another 11 years after that, I married her. Story 27. Saw a gay guy trying to chat up a straight guy in a club I used to work in. Gay guy keeps calling straight guy selfish, says it over and over again, until straight guy kicks off and shouts, Why the F am I selfish? Gay guy answers, You get to keep that body all year round. I only want it for one night. Story 28. I once ran into a girl from my high school graduating class 13 years after we graduated. When I said hi to her, I told her I didn't recognize you at first because I thought to myself, I couldn't have gone to high school with that girl. She's too young. It made her day. Story 29. A guy at my university also volunteered at a dog shelter. Beginning of each school year, he'd take a young dog or a puppy, bring it with him to campus. He didn't have to hit on anyone. Girls literally flocked to him before he even walked through the doors. Story 30. My friend and this girl were talking. Girl tells the guy his joke was poop. Guy replies, saying she looks like poop, and immediately follows up with, See, now we've both lied, and we just look stupid. Story 31. Once, one of my friends walked up to a girl and casually asked, Would you like to fill out a survey? The girl accepted, and he handed her his phone with the new contact screen open. Story 32. I once heard an old man say to a woman, Back in my day, we'd have painted you on the side of an airplane. Story 33. Can I offer you free yo-yo lessons? Years later, they're married with kids. Story 34. You are coming then? And they left. They dated for several months after. Please leave your stories in the comments. I'd love to make a video of them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.